Good day, good day, good day. I am Diddy Love. Drop down there, hit like, subscribe, and share. Oh, oh, I just got word that Vagina had some things to say about me regarding the last two videos that I put out. He is under the impression, first of all, let's call this video, the theme of this video is remedial motherfuckers, okay? These niggas are remedial in life. They are remedial as men. They were remedial in school. They are remedial in relationships. They are remedial as adults. They're just fucking remedial, okay? First of all, let's start here with the whole, all of these people, they were, they call me Alani pigs and cows, okay? First of all, this is what I say. This is a perfect example of remedial motherfuckers. I have a brother that's two years older than me. And me and him used to call each other names when we were like three and five, four and six, right? And our our moms did not tolerate that bullshit, but we would call each other names. And those were the names we would call each other. Pig and cow or dog and cats. Black dog, red dog. We would get fancy with it. We would add colors, you know, that type of shit. But we were three and five, four and six. These bitches are grown-ass adult grown men. A motherfucker had the audacity to say that I'm inserting myself. First of all, again, this is how you know they're remedial. They don't understand that they're fighting for the rights to argue with a woman. Because like they kept saying, they don't disrespect women, just Lonnie. How stupid does that sound? Do they know how fucking dumb? But no, because they're remedial. Right, remedial. Remedial in life. A nigga was calling my name on his live and shit. My people's called me. They was like, you was in his chat? I was like, no. I haven't been over there in months. First of all, everybody know I haven't been over there because Queen Regina called that shit out two weeks ago in a chat. She said, D, I knew shit when left, things went left because I haven't seen you in the chat. Right. So, no, I haven't even been there. So, why? Why? Why are you calling my name? Because I've seen the fuck shit coming. But here's the thing about it. You're saying that I'm inserting myself. You forget Lonnie wasn't fucking with you. I put her on to you. Nobody was fucking with you. Everybody was clowning your ass. You was the laughing stock. Them same niggas you sitting up there with now trying to come for Lonnie, them niggas didn't want shit to do with you. Remember? Maybe I need to put on a strap on so you can hear what I'm saying to you. As a man. Because you said I'm not your mother. No, motherfucker, I'm not. But you clearly need a goddamn chaperone. Something wrong with you. You out here clowning for these people. They don't give a fuck about you. I was actually your friend, remember? You fucking forgot. I still don't have no problem with you. But you can get up there and holler and scream all the fuck you want. But this is the... See, if you was a real nigga, I could call you and we could have had a conversation on the phone. But can't nobody say nothing to your ass. You mad because somebody yelled on your fucking panel and all the fuck you do is yell. Huh? Communication skills, remedial. Behavior, remedial. You remedial ass niggas. Fuck y'all. So keep putting up cow and pig emojis and highlighting it and thinking that's funny because you're remedial. Y'all rode a separate bus. Y'all sat at separate lunch tables. Y'all had AIDS. Some of you motherfuckers wore helmets. Uh-huh. Remedial. You can't come for me, never. Remedial I am not, okay? Never been bats. Born with fucking common sense because clearly you bitches are slow. You grown ass men arguing and fighting for the right to drag a woman, justifying it. I don't like her. So y'all teaming up on a woman, but I can't say anything on her behalf. I can't stick up for my friend, but a bunch of niggas can call, talk shit to her and they think that's okay. You niggas are remedial. And so, no, I don't listen to you bitches because y'all slow. You sound fucking remedial. Y'all sound like Fat Albert in the gang and shit when you really listen. Some of y'all need to separate. If you ain't a slow-mo motherfucker, y'all shouldn't be fucking with some of these niggas. Because y'all know they slow tip. It ain't just me. Y'all just not saying it. Because y'all think y'all getting numbers like that. And as far as me trying to come up off somebody, bitch, I was born up. That's the problem. See, y'all got to get on YouTube with a plan, looking for mentors and shit. The reason I know you niggas are remedial. Because y'all said that Kwame Brown was y'all mentor. Y'all was looking up to Kwame. You grown-ass niggas. We're not talking about y'all was six years old and found out about who he was. Y'all grown ass niggas was looking up for Kwame to lead y'all way. Huh? Remedial. Remedial. Y'all not on my motherfucking level. 
That's why I don't get involved with y'all bullshit because you bitches are remedial. No man with common sense is arguing for the right to argue with just one woman. One, No man is calling a woman bitch and teasing her and, and fucking with her. Regardless of what she said, he's not going to do that and say, I respect women. He's not going to do that. Period. Y'all are fucking clowns. You a fucking clown. Y'all all want to be like the Tommies. See, the thing about Tommies, he never said he respected shit. He, he, had his, he had his stand and he stood by that shit. He didn't talk shit and then say, oh no, but I'm nice. See, y'all on fuck shit. You got to own your shit. You want to be both. You want to be both. And I'm going to tell you, to the bitches who calling me pig and, and cow, and like I said, I prefer to be called the motherfucking panda. When will you bitches learn? See, I don't have a problem with who I am and my size, but I'll take your man, bitch. I'll take your man. I don't even know the motherfucker and I'm confident and secure and positive. I'll take your motherfucking man. Real shit. That's a fact. So y'all can say whatever you want about me. I don't give a fuck. Uh-huh. Right. Real shit. That's why you hate it. Right. You're hating. You're haters. Remedial. Remedial. Grown people on a live putting in cows and pigs. Remedial. Talking about I'm going to get driving Lonnie to get Newports. We don't smoke cigarettes, bitch. But y'all think shit like that is funny. I have a whole life. You don't see me around here on these motherfucking chats jumping down. I don't need to because y'all that fucking remedial. I could not drop in for six months. Y'all still going to be on the same remedial ass, retarded ass, slow motion, uh-huh, short yellow bus, teacher's aide, assistant, having ass. Bullshit. I don't need to hang around and listen to you remedial motherfuckers because how what kind of men are y'all i'm confused where do they do that at y'all y'all fighting for the right to gossip you sitting on the panel with 12 other motherfuckers calling other people messy uh-huh i'm not your mother never wanted to be but i'm from your behavior did you listen to your mother i doubt it right maybe i remind you of your mother is that the problem is that why every time i say something to you you got a problem and that's why i feel like i want to slap the shit out of you because you can't listen you refuse to fucking listen and learn. You got a hard ass uh, rock fucking head. Then you said that about yourself. And you know that about yourself. But you don't care enough to make any adjustments to be a better person. Right. Like I said, you can pick on whoever you want to pick on. That's how you feel. And can't nobody say nothing to you. A nigga mentioned 7-Eleven. You fucking melt. You crying. You upset. Now you calling my name a hundred times. Did you call Monty name? Because Monty made some funny ass videos about your ass. And he read your ass for filth too. Did you call his name? Doubt it. That's why I said maybe I need to go buy a strap on when I talk to you. So you can think and pretend that I'm a man. Since you can't hear nothing from a woman. Because when a woman speaks to you. You feel intimidated and threatened. Clearly. Because you go into defense mode. And start that yelling and screaming and bullshit. And not listening. So you, you can't take what a woman got to say because a woman will always tell you the truth. And Louis Farrakhan said it best. There is no man without a woman, dumb motherfuckers. You don't exist without a woman. Marinate on it because some of y'all can't even relate to that. Y'all don't get it. But you don't exist without a woman. Right. So yeah, keep that dumb remedial bullshit going. But don't put my name in your motherfucking mouth because I wasn't, I, I, I said what I needed to say to you like I said. Can't have a conversation with you. Can't reason with you. Can't talk about anything with common sense with you. Because common sense should tell a grown-ass man that arguing and calling a woman bitches and all of that. And then on the flip side, want to say, I'm only talking about her. I respect women. Where do they do that at? Only some other remedial motherfuckers is following that shit. Because that's bullshit. But like I said, don't motherfucking forget. We were there for you when you didn't have no friends. Uh-huh. Remember? When you had motherfucking five views and shit like that. We was there, remember? Right. You forget where you came from. Uh-huh. You forget them niggas wasn't fucking with you, but we was. Right? Remember? You was blackballed. You was a clown ass nigga. They still clowning you, but it's okay as long as it's a dude. But when a woman asks your ass a question, you want to get in your feelings? Uh-huh. See, you are in denial. You forget what you put out there. You obviously don't watch your videos back and listen to the bullshit that you kicking, nigga. Because it doesn't match up. Your behaviors and your words are not matching up. 
You 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 don't think you're a bully, but you got motherfuckers in the chat talking shit about me, nigga? Huh? You you don't you don't think that's bullying? You claim you don't talk about women, but I'm gonna have other women come over here to do it for me. And y'all mad because I don't need a dude to come on here to talk shit to you bitch ass niggas because y'all soft. Y'all are remedial. Y'all are pussy. Mm -hmm. Dry pussies at that. Y'all are cornball, lame as fuck, arguing for the, fighting for the right to argue with a woman. Grown ass goddamn men. And you bitch niggas got the nerve to be calling somebody fat and look at yourselves in the mirror. Cannot put on a motherfucking wife beater in some nice shorts. Huh? Are you going out in gray sweatpants looking so fuckable? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. See, when women are fat, we're more... Well, you're more voluptuous. You're attractive. Remember that. Uh-huh. Right. You're attractive. You motherfuckers don't get that. Because you're lame. Your dicks probably don't even get hard. That's why you ain't attracted to real women. That's why you call certain women fat. Because y'all don't fuck anyway. So you know nothing about it. Didn't y'all know that cows got the best pussy? Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cows and pigs and pandas will take your fucking bed, bitch. Don't play games. I've never, a real man ain't never approached me like that. I'm called beautiful all the time, walking down the street by strangers, by motherfuckers who don't even speak English. I go to other countries and niggas tell me how white people, foreigners, Italian men speak no English, but enough to let me know that I'm beautiful. So you think some raggedy ass bitches on a YouTube calling somebody a pig and a, and a cow was hurting them? No, because y'all remedial. You bitches don't travel. Y'all don't do shit because you're remedial. Right. Your lives are fucking remedial. You know how I know? Because you're on YouTube trying to be a star at 40. Instead of focusing on content, you're focusing on mess and drama, but you're calling other people messy. But see, when you with a bunch of other mother, remedial motherfuckers, you don't know the difference. You need to try to elevate and get with some people who are doing more than what you're doing. Y'all are fucking clowns. Dick licking. Dick riding ass lickers. Hating ass bitches. Uh-huh. Right. I'm trying to come up off somebody. No. I didn't get on here and go over there and tell Kwame that I was trying to... He inspired me to go to media school. How a nigga who ain't never been to media school inspired you to go to media school? Kwame ain't go to media school. Remedial. Remedial. Ka Kwame got his ass up on here, asked Kwame, and did what he needed to do and talked. But that inspired you to go to broadcasting school? Huh? Remedial shit. You lying. You a fucking liar. Kwame, and you 40 years old, and Kwame's inspiring you, and you're looking up to him, and he's your role model. You and this nigga the same age. Huh? You cowing and pigging at me, bitch? But I know better. I'll be a, a cow and a pig. You are the same age as this young man, and he's your role model. Huh? You liked his message. Y'all the same age. You act like this nigga is Martin Luther King or Louis Farrakhan or some shit. He just on here being a regular nigga. And y'all mad about that. Huh? Remedial? Right. Okay. Don't come for queens. You'll know who the fuck you playing with. Right? Like I said, I, I went light on your ass. But I'm telling you the truth. You can get over there and scream all the fuck you want to. I don't give a flying fuck because I don't go over there. It doesn't affect you the same. Like I said, I knew nothing about it. Someone told me. And I don't know if that was after the first video or the second one. So I said, fuck it. Let me come for three. Three and I'm done with you niggas. Y'all are fucking clowns. And it is what it is. You can keep arguing and talking about one woman. Y'all know how stupid y'all sound? It was sick when you was doing it to Kwame. So now you shifted gears and you're going to do it to Lonnie. Like your behavior is questionable. It's remedial. You need to do better as a grown ass motherfucker. You're a stalker type like. But you couldn't handle it when Tyra Moore put the foot on that ass. You couldn't handle that. But you want to have the right to talk about whoever you want to talk about and say whatever the fuck you want to say. You want to try to tell me that I can't comment? Are you fucking crazy? When nobody was fucking with you but us? You tripping. Nobody was fucking with you. They was clowning your ass. Remember? You fucking forgot that quick? You will remember again very soon. Very soon. Very fucking soon. Trust. 
You only got friends because y'all got uh, y'all your your whole channel is based on hate, homeboy. First you was hating Kwame, now you hating Lonnie. Your shit is based on hate. You can't say you positive, and your shit is based on hate. Right. Like I said, I got over 500 videos. My shit ain't based on this. I don't need to try to come up off of nobody. I'm respected, okay? Huh? I don't fuck around like you do. I don't dick ride. Huh? That's you. So who's trying to come up off of people? That would be you. You went out and you said it out loud. There's plenty of videos out. Y'all want to see him? Go over to the mill ticket. He got some. Go over to Monty Woodgrain. He got videos too. It's a few motherfuckers. They'll lead you. Uh-huh. So don't don't come for me. And you ain't coming for nobody else. And you know that, like I said, when nobody was fucking with your ass, we did. Right. I came first and then I said, Lonnie, blah, 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 da, da, da. And then we was like, all right, Lonnie, well, I like him. He cool. You know, we, we fucked with you for real. Now you want to get on some disrespectful turncoat, cutthroat, bullshit, Benedict Arnold ass motherfucker. Fuck you talking to. Y'all probably don't even know who that is because you're a medial. Because that's some cutthroat bullshit you pulled. You ain't got to be disrespectful about it. You could have easily had a disagreement about her with her. Okay? Because I also try to mediate this bullshit too. It didn't have to go that far. But you want to make a song and you think that's funny. Just like your sweet and sour chicken song about Kwame. Like, nigga, remedial. Right. 40 years old. Now you're making a, a song about your mentor, the motherfucker who inspired you to go to media school and to do something better with your life at 40. And now you're making songs about him. But I got a problem. You putting pig and cow emojis up in reference to me? Who's your fucking friend? And I'm still not mad because I know you clowning. You want some bullshit. You want some real bullshit. And I don't fuck with you like that. I don't watch your shit because you ignorant. You messy, right? You messy. You are messy. At least Lonnie admits she's fucking messy. You want to push the blame off on somebody else. You messy. Your motherfucking self. But you want to say you positive. And I respect women. But you hollering at women. You can't listen to a woman. A woman can't tell you shit. And it ain't just me. It's plenty of other women that you have yelled at and blocked and put in time out. For asking your ass a question because you reading shit in your feelings because you're emotional and you're the only motherfucker allowed to be upset. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. I've given you 20 minutes. I must go now. All right. But you remedial motherfuckers need to know who y'all playing with. And y'all need to check your motherfucking self with your remedial ass behavior. Because any grown man fighting for the right to argue is just embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. Oh my God. Do y'all remember that Twisted Sister song? What are you going to do with your life? And it was like, I want to rock. And it was like, I want to fight for the right to party. These niggas, I want to fight for the right to argue <laughs> you dumb bitches remedial deuces